Stage Wonder coming at you from the Blackberry Bramble down by the river. So today is kind of freaking me out a little bit. So we've got this whole uh, Syria thing that happened over the weekend. And I'm hearing reports now that our military is amassing off the coast of uh, Syria in the Mediterranean. Uh, they're massing our warships. They're preparing for a major uh, air and sea bombardment of Syria. And I mean, I'm not even going to get into that. But what's this other thing that we're hearing about now? Apparently, according to the New York Times, the FBI has raided Donald Trump's longtime lawyer's office, uh, <clears throat> Michael Cohen's office. No explanation as to what they were after, what is going on with this. And um, But it just seems to me like, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but doesn't, isn't there a attorney-client privilege? I mean, can they just go to your lawyer's office and commandeer his files and private uh, recordings and, and notes of your meetings and use that against you in a court of law? I, I thought that was kind of protected. Am I wrong? Um, tell me how they got a warrant of this kind of, uh, for this kind of thing. I guess maybe it's common and I don't know. You know, I'm not in law enforce, enforcement or am I a lawyer. It seems shady to me. But if you go back and look at my video from the past, um, <clears throat> I said Paul Manafort's arrest is a civil war indicator. I think that this as well, that this raid on uh, Trump's lawyer's um, office is absolutely a, uh, a, you know, it's a, a civil war indicator. It's a sign that things are heating up between the deep state and Donald Trump. Are they about to bring bogus charges? What happens if the FBI just arrests him and says, we'll explain it later? Can they? Would they? Could they? I don't think they can under the Constitution. It takes an impeachment. They got to be removed from office. Then you can arrest them. Am I wrong in that? And if they arrested them, arrested him, what would stop Pence from just pardoning him and him coming right back you know, out of the Huskow. Does that just get us Pence? What is the end game here? And is it just to frustrate the members of the right and the veterans and the gun owners to such a degree that we just say F it all and we just go all in on civil war? What are they trying to do? What are they trying to pull? What is going on? <laughs> I do feel like this is going to be an action-packed week. We could see a massive attack on Syria. <clears throat> this could kill Russians. This could heat up with what's going on with the Russian diplomats being expelled due to the uh, due to this poisoning of, a, of Russian spies on UK soil. That they've uh, really some of the worst <clears throat> uh, po political, what is it, uh, diplomatic ex expulsions. That I've seen happen recently, just uh, like a purge of Russian diplomats have been kicked out of countries all around the globe over this poisoning incident. I heard some. Uh, I heard a person who had, I guess, at one point been uh, higher up in the Russian government last night. Uh, I can't even remember where I heard him, but what caught me is he said, "You know, what are we supposed to lay down and just take it that we're being we're being accused of hacking the election when we didn't do it? We're being accused of of uh, poisoning people uh, and we didn't do it. We're being accused of now bombing Syria and I mean of, uh, of being involved in this chemical attack on children in Syria and we didn't do it. Furthermore, they're saying it didn't even happen. <clears throat> Putin says it didn't happen. There wasn't a, uh, an attack this weekend." On Syrian children with uh, with you know poison gas. If this is just a big frame up job on Putin, like they were doing the frame up job on Trump, is this just the powers that be? This shadow government we've been talking about, this new world order we've been afraid of since the early '90s, is this that thing pulling the strings, pushing the buttons to bring about? civil war in America and World War III abroad. This is kind of what I'm talking about today. Stay tuned. Things are totally getting funky.